welcome back to my channel. I figured today I would vlog. It's been a while since I've done one. I think I haven't done one since we like went to Thailand earlier this year. But um, yeah, um, it's Friday and we're going to go to, well, later on this night, we're going to some festival. I don't even know what it is. My husband texted me and told me that it was some Motown thing going on today in Houston. Well, this weekend rather. So we're going to go check that out and see what that is. And um, as you can see, my eyebrows are looking a little rough. So I'm going to go get those done today because I need to before we leave. Um, yeah, I have a surprise coming up. So I'll also be vlogging um, this weekend. No, today is Friday the... I don't even know what today's date is, but I'll insert the date. And um, we're leaving next week, the middle of next week, and we're going out of town somewhere. So I'll vlog, we'll be vlogging that whole adventure so you can see what's going on, what we're getting into. But um, yeah, nothing much is going on right now. I'm getting ready for the day and waiting on my husband to get back this evening, afternoon, so we can go on about our day and um, get some stuff done. But yeah, um, nothing's good and I'm just cleaning up a little bit because the apartment was a mess. Um, I got a little candle burning right here as you can see. Oh, and in case you didn't know, like today I like lit my very first match ever. I've never been able to light light matches because I mean you have lighter, what's the point of lighting a match? So um, I'll get back to you guys when we're on the road to the IRA place and I'll show you where I go. Hopefully they don't jack me up. Like they they do a good job. Like it's the best it's the best the, it's the best place that I've been going so far since I've been here in Houston. But um last time I went, she kind of did them a bit too thin for me, and I wasn't feeling it. I wasn't feeling it too much. So hopefully this time they'll do me right. But yeah, so we'll see you guys when um well I'll see you guys when my husband gets here and we get ready to hit the road for the day. So talk to you guys later. We are stuck in traffic. I'm on my way to get my eyebrows done. Excuse my little um, scarf, but I want to make sure that I keep my hair laid down because it took forever to get my hair into a bun. I'll list the YouTube video that I follow down below in case you guys are interested on how to get like your short TWA type 4C hair into um, a top knot button like all of it <laughs> in there so yeah um we're still on our way to the place I'll get back to you guys then because I think we're about 20 minutes away and the traffic is pretty bad it says that it's an accident up ahead so who knows Hopefully we'll get there before it closed because it closed in like an hour. Okay, luckily, push me out the car. We made it in time, luckily. Um, we have about 30 minutes to spare. And this is where I go to get my eyebrows done, right over here. In case you're ever curious. Oh, you can't see anything, it's too far away. Beauty and brow. It's over here in the Bel Air, Bel Air area maybe a little bit off to the side but yeah general area i think it costs about 10 to 12 dollars but yeah i'll see oh my god it's a line i'll see you guys when i get out so i just got my brows done they look pretty good i told them to arch them she and keep them thick and everything but they look they look okay i'll probably fill them in a little bit more when we actually i think i have an eyebrow pencil in my purse so i can go ahead and take this off now i like to wear a scarf in there because when you have to lay down, I just wanted to make sure the back of my head kept flat. Oh, the clouds look pretty over there. So now we're going to go grab some food. We have about an hour and 15 minutes before, well, an hour and 20 minutes before the thing starts. So I'm going to go try some Cuban food. I don't know what to expect. I don't even know what Cuban food is. Maybe it's kind of like Mexican food, but I don't want to say that because it'd probably be nothing like that. Do you want to tell the people what this event thing we're going to is? Because I don't really know. Right, so the event is uh, Motown, no, Dancing in the Street, Motown, and More Review, I believe it's called. So I think it's going to be some people like Phil Wade and some other artists are going to be singing. Some from classic. Motown, or are they people like from here? People 
uh, they're going to be different artists singing Motown songs. We're not going to be going to see, you know, uh, the Jackson 5 or the Temptations, but there will be people there singing Jackson 5. Yeah. They'll be singing those songs. So, okay. so we're going to, um, what's the name of the restaurant? Oh, uh, Cafe Petit. That sounds just like Cafe Petit. <laughs> It does, but there's like a queue in the, somewhere in here. Well, it's this restaurant um, called Cafe Petit, and they sell like delicious Greek food. It's so good. Um, they have like this uh, garlic. What is this stuff called? It's like a garlic. That white sauce. Yeah, some, it's kind of like garlic sauce, but you just eat it with like chicken or um, on pita bread, and it's so good. I actually went and bought like this little tub of the garlic sauce so I could put it on whatever I wanted to cook at home. But yeah, um, I'll get back to you guys when we get to the restaurant. Your favorite? I think uh, I think whatever this is is my favorite. The reddish one? Yeah. I can't remember which one it is exactly. Yeah, it's the way it's with the menu because. Yeah, but I like it. It has nice spices to it. I think it's similar to what something similar to what my grandmother made when I was a kid. So. What was your grandma making? I don't know, but it. It, it tastes familiar to me. She made some shredded beef. Like the seasoning or something in here tastes like familiar. Mm -hmm. And my grandma did most of the cooking, so it tastes like something my grandma would make. It all tastes good to me. Of What's course, I really like the rice and the beans. And whatever this is right here is pretty good. It's not focusing. Yeah, whatever that is. It don't look pretty, but it tastes pretty good. I'm excited to try the plantain though. So I am just talking with this food in my mouth, but y'all understand. Look baby boo at first, but it don't hot. Oh, it was mine, but it looks So mine? we just left the restaurant. It was pretty good. It was quite interesting. Sorry I'm not in focus right now. Oh, there we go. But it was pretty good. I'll probably come here again. Um, if you live in the Houston area, I will... I guess put the name of the restaurant in the description box in case you're curious or want to try out some new places. It's in the Bel Air area as well. Now we're getting ready to head over to um I think it's uh Herman Park in Houston. Yeah, Miller Outdoor Theater. Yeah. Did you check to make sure that picnic blanket was in the back? I did not because you, you told me it was in here. Well hopefully it is. And I always keep this in the car because I get ate up by mosquitoes. And since we're gonna be outside, I definitely wanna make sure that um, I keep them away because I'm not trying to get west now or whatever else mosquitoes carry. And I got bit on my arm because I didn't spray down and now I have a big old red like mosquito bite on my arm, but my lips are dry. But yeah. So um, yeah, the food was really good. Um, sorry we didn't vlog more at the extra restaurant, but it was kind of loud because we ate outside and we were just trying to hurry up and eat. Was it back there? No. Oh crap. Did you throw it away or something? Were you thinking about that? The blue picking blue blanket. Up. It got all puffy. It might have got through out. But it's, it's not back there. So you want to like pick up a blanket or something from Target? We can. Yeah. I thought we had a picnic blanket in the back. See that was supposed to be like supposed to have like Clutch. a picnic like stash in the um, in the trunk. Supposed to have like silverware. Picnic blanket, well, plastic silverware, um, picnic blanket, bottles of water, all of that stuff. So, no matter where you are, you can always have your picnic ready to go. 
But I guess the picnic blanket got thrown away. So now we have to go to Target and either pick up Walmart, some store, and either pick up a blanket or um, another picnic blanket. I was recording when you said that. <laughs> okay, well, just edit that part out. I'm just, I'm just you know. So we're trying to find our way over to the festival or the concert. We had to park like. I feel like it's a like legit half mile away from where we need to be, so trying to find a way over there. I'm not sure where it is. At least we'll get our steps in. True, because I did not exercise today and I was supposed to be doing a 30 minutes for 30 days type thing and I did not exercise today. <laughs> in the street Man, something dancing in the street motown and review yeah well anyway we made it back from the event it was nice it was a lot of people out there the music was really good the um dancers on the stage and everything was pretty cool um hopefully i can show you guys some of the footage that i took from there if it like comes out well on the computer and everything um i'm getting ready to make a late night sweet snack these are the cookies that um i recently made dough for i have the video up for that soon as well in case you're interested in my cookie recipe i'll see you guys in my next video we should be having another vlog coming out probably next week because we have some things coming up so i'll see you guys then bye yeah i mean it doesn't matter but yeah i'm afraid of heights so that was a traumatic experience for me <laughs> but we're heading back to the tour bus now and I think next we're either going to go whitewater rafting or elephant trekking. <laughs> He's been talking